Hey everyone and welcome back! Summer is definitely here and we thought it would be the perfect time to take a swim deep down into the oceans to rediscover the greatest on the water superheroes. Let's dive right into it! Aquaman is probably the most famous underwater superhero of all time. In 2018, the Jason Momoa starring Aquaman debuted in cinemas and it took in over $1 billion, proving just exactly how popular this character is. However, as the film showed, there are far more water-based superheroes involved in the DC universe. And today, we're going to talk about 10 of the very best. Number 1. Aqualit the color and versions of Aquila is the son of the supervillain Black Manta. Originally serving as Black Manta's henchman, Aquila defected to the side of the Atlanteans. He's got the ability to manipulate not just water, but he can also discharge electricity from his fingers. He's got also a pair of water bearers, which can create weapons with the water itself. Pretty cool, right? Number 2. Tidy. Tidy is, put simply, an ancient god. One of the most powerful members of the triumvirate of sea gods who come from another galaxy. Tati is a mortal and she's got a power to control entire oceans. She can also take the power of other water-based superheroes, including Aquaman. Once she even gave Aquaman's powers to Black Manta. Number 3. Red Torpedo Red Torpedo is a female humanoid robot created by a evil inventor T.O. Moro. Originally intended as a way for Moro to carry out villainous deeds, the Red Torpedo defected and became a protector of Prague. She's got a power of hydrokinesis, meaning that she can manipulate and control any type of liquid matter and she can fly using this ability as well. Number 4. David Drake David Drake was a marine researcher who started out his life in the United States Navy. Drake was dishonorably discharged after he assaulted his superior for having slept with his wife. Drake was later divorced right after the second child was born and he got into depression. But when a shadowy organization invited Drake to carry out on his research, an accidental nuclear explosion activated his metagene and he gained the ability to create and control storms. Neither a hero nor villain, David Drake, you know, he does as he pleases. Number 5. Aquawoman Aquawoman is a gender-swapped alternate reality version of Aquaman. In this reality, Bryce Wayne, aka Batwoman, went mad after the death of Sylvester Kyle and she began killing metahumans. Aquawoman started a war in an attempt to stop Batwoman, but ultimately she got killed and Gotham was subdued. Number 6. Aquagirl Chula is one of the several who took up to the mantle of Aquagirl. Tula is the adopted princess of another underwater kingdom, Poseidonis. Although a rival nation of Atlantis, Tula falls in love with Garth, a sidekick to Aquaman. The two eventually went on to become members of the Teen Titans. Number 7. Tempest Originally, Garth also had the moniker of Aqualad, but he grew up to become known as Tempest. As a teen, he served as a sidekick to Aquaman and he has even served as acting king of Atlantis. He has the same powers as Aquaman, but he can also shoot force beams from his eyes and he's got the ability to control the temperature of water and moisture surrounding him. Number 8. Zan One half of the Wonder Twins, Zan, has got the ability to turn into water whenever he fist bumps his sister, Jaina. As well as hydrophysiology, Zane can manipulate water and can harness ice. Although a surprisingly cocky hero, Zane's redeeming feature comes in his love for his sister. Number 9. Lagoon Boy Lagoon Boy is an interesting character as he currently has got no comic book origin story. His design is obviously based on the horror film The Creature from the Black Lagoon and his amphibian appearance actually caused him to be single out by Aethelians. However, Aquaman granted him citizenship and Lagoon Boy has proved himself a worthy hero fighting for the Young Justice team in Titan East. Finally, number 10, Father Sea. Father Sea is another ancient god, but he's got a title of being the original god of water. He and Mother Salt join forces to give birth to their children, sky, wind, fire, and earth. 
But when these children started creating things on their own, Father C thought they were undermining his authority and hatched up a plan to kill them all. But Mother Soul could not get along with such a cool plan and she betrayed Father C, resulting in his death. However, Father C remained alive to some degree within the ocean. Thank you so much for watching our video. If there are any underwater superheroes that we missed and that you love, let us know in the comments and please like and share our video. And if you haven't already, like our page to at Venom Wire. I will see you soon for more geeky content. Bye!